Well, welcome back to another video, you guys. It is a beautiful fall day. Mid 50s, overcast, nice wind. And today we're doing one of my favorite things. Obviously we're walleye fishing, um, but we're gonna hopefully target some fish doing my absolute favorite thing. Shallow water on some twitch baits, jerk baits, crank baits, things like that. This is one of my favorite bites of the year. I did this on a real small lake last week, and uh, now we're on a little bit bigger lake that's got some bigger potential for fish. And we're hoping that with the water temps should be low 50s, mid 50s, and turnover probably just happened and that a lot of these fish, or some of these fish, are starting to show up in some really shallow water. So um, we're gonna slip the old Sims bibs on, dump the warrior in the water, and get after it. All right, perfect looking fishy fall day. We got a south wind instead of a north wind, but that's all right. Now, got a few different things tied on. Obviously, we got our, a couple different jerk baits, kind of one deep one, one shallow one. I've seen times on these like Cisco base lakes where you'll have turnover happen and all of a sudden walleyes will go from being 35 feet down to being three feet down on sand. So we got like, a deep jerk bait, shallow jerk bait. Do have a light finesse jig tied up in case I do have to go with a minnow or something. And at times I have gotten fish to eat just straight reeled swim baits. This is just a Kalen's quarter ounce underspin. So that's kind of what we got going on. Big shallow water flat, deep water adjacent right in front of me right here. And the hope here is, is that there's gonna be some walleyes up here. Now, when you have turnover happen, you, what you might see is like, certain portions of a lake might just be completely void of fish. Like you just might not be able to see anything. Um, and then you might go a couple miles the other direction and you're like, oh wow, there's fish all over up shallow, or oh wow, there's fish all over deep. But turnover for the first couple days, it's kind of a crapshoot as to what could be where. So we're gonna drop the old live down, hopefully find some fish. Right there, dude. Wow, I don't know what that is, dude, but I was just on a long pause. I saw a big fish up and around that bait. Whatever it is, it's gonna be big. I just saw one big mark up on that bait. It's a walleye. <laughs> there we go, man. Fish number one, he was fighting like he was gonna be 10 pounds. Beautiful one to start though. I saw that fish in that bait, but he was moving so fast. I just kind of lost him. That bait cloud was so big. Threw the jerk bait around there. It was just literally on a death pause. And my line just started going out. <laughs> there we go. There's number one. Have not seen a ton. Well, actually, this is the first like real thing I've seen on the Mega Live. Look at him. Beautiful fall walleye. 21 inch to get the day going. Look how fat and sassy they're getting though. That's a nice chubby one to start our mid our day off here. See you later, buddy. Well, there's number one. Are we gonna catch five more here or see uh, zero more here? Couldn't tell you. You guys can see all this bait up here in shallow. This is generally the telltale that you're gonna start seeing a ton of this life back up on these spots. There's some weeds around, some walks around, just kind of a good, big, shallow water flat adjacent to a lot of this deeper base and out for me. And that much bait doesn't get somewhere without a walleye or two coming in here and sitting around it. That's all we want right there. Got 
got him right there. One had to come up out of that. It's feeling like a good fish too. Feeling like a real good walleye. Anytime you see them potted like that, they're gonna be walleyes. Oh yeah, look at him. That's what you want right there. Beautiful gold one right there, my friends. That is what you want. I don't know if there's a better sight on a chilly fall day than that right there. Look at him. <laughs> there's one reason I love fishing this way, and that is the interactions. It is so much fun to play with them with those suspending jerk baits. You just get him to hang right there up above them and watch one of them or multiple of them just shoot out and try to grab it. So cool. There we go. Look at that beauty right there. <laughs> he is a pretty one, my friends. We're getting down there on our season, but we are still having just as much fun as we were when we started. One of my favorite things. Love summer walleye fishing, absolutely love it. You get a lot of big fish isolated out in deep water, but I love changing seasons. It keeps my job interesting. So now that we finally got some of this fall weather, and on pretty much all lakes we're seeing fish shift around, it makes my job fun, figuring them out and doing some different stuff. One thing I'm kind of noticing as I'm kind of fishing around here through one of these big spots is that the walleyes aren't like in a lot of the weeds and they're not really on the outside edge. Where they're kind of relating to the weeds is like, say you get a point that looks like this here, where you know you got six, seven, eight feet of water up in here, out off the tip you got like 10, 12 feet. The weed edge in this lake will come all the way out to like 13 or 14. And where I'm actually seeing most of the fish is up in like this zone in like five to nine feet of water actually on the inside edge of that weeds it's like when you get around all those weeds all there is is just a pile of bait up above it and then once you get on that inside edge that's where all the walleyes are and some of these fish have actually been just way up on sand like in three four feet of water and it's crazy how basically two weeks ago there was no fish here now all of a sudden all of this life is shallow and the walleyes want to be even shallower and one thing i always think about is like if you take a, the biggest base out of this lake, right? Now, generally, the most uniform, similar kind of water is going to be the deeper down water because it doesn't change quite as fast, right? Um, it's like I always use the analogy of if you have a boiling pot of water, if you have a lot of water in that pot, it takes a long time for that temperature to change. A little bit, it'll change very fast. Generally, that stable water in a big cool down like this is what you'd want. However, in a big, quick turnover event, those fish just want to get in the shallowest stuff possible because it's actually not all turbid up anymore. As you can imagine, that whole water column mixing. So now a lot of these fish are up in that skinny water, which is kind of like tamed down a little bit more since the turnover. And when you have wind coming in, it kind of makes that change. It kind of like mutes it out as you get up into the shallow water. I think that water's, that shallow water is a lot more stable right now for those fish than that deeper water. And clearly that's where we're finding them up shallow, looking to eat minnows and stuff. Got him right there. Wow, was that cool, man? Feeling big, I just took off that. I just took off that deeper jerk bait and got up in here real shallow. And this guy came up to it right away. This fish is in about six feet of water. Another real nice walleye, man. <laughs> well, this is, this is what we wanted to do today. There's a couple of them there, actually. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Oh, dude, that is as much fun as it gets. And we are definitely on some quality fish today. Look at that guy, dude. Just a nice, fat 23, 24-incher. That was on a husky jerk. We're trying to cast. I mean, that bait was probably only down in the water column. Two, maybe three feet. In six, seven feet of water. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come on, bud. When you think about it, I made this point in a video I filmed last week, but 
when you think about catching fish on a, on a like minnow, right? We all know like fall is the minnow season. Beauties right there, man. That is what we are after. That is for sure. But one thing I was talking about in the other videos, you know, we obviously all know fall is jigging minnow season, right? Or minnow season. Fish are feeding on minnows. The bug hatch is kind of end. Fish are now feeding on, you know, popular tactics in the fall, rigging big minnows, big jig in a minnow. Jerkbait's no different. It's just a big minnow, but instead of being on the bottom, it's up high, right? And uh, it's actually more natural a lot of times for fish to eat baits that way, up off the bottom. It kind of gets that predator drive going a little bit more than an object that's just popping along down there on the bottom. All right, a couple different jerkbaits we're using. Um, basically, there's a couple colors I like in clear water. Gold, black backs, always one that I love. This is a shallower one. This one's only going to go like three to five feet, which is kind of perfect when I'm up there in that four foot to seven foot, eight foot depth zone, right? Um, they will come up a long ways to a jerkbait too, but sometimes if you're dealing with a lot of wind and you're going into wind or casting sideways to wind, it is nice to have one that gets deeper, faster, allowing you to not have to cast, you know, 120 feet to get your bait down five feet right or seven feet or eight feet um, so then we got one deeper one on a little bit deeper bill on there and that's going to let me get that bait in there now cadence wise we've done a ton of videos on this style of fish and on wall i know but basically the main thing is i want to get it to that fish as quickly as possible keep that bait up above their head and make that fish engage and see what he does a lot of times if those fish are real active you're going to get it up above them you're going to twitch it like twice and just let it sit there and you're going to see that arc just come right up and smash it now, obviously, if you're not fishing with a forward-facing sonar, pretty standard retrieve I'm doing, getting the bait out there, reeling it down a distance to get it kind of in that depth range you want to be at. Pop, pop, pause. Pop, pop, long pause. As that water gets a lot colder, you're going to want to give that thing a lot more of a pause. Now, if you are fishing with forward-facing, one of my favorite things to do is once I get that fish coming, I'll kind of give it two last second little pops like that and then just kill it. The second I see that fish really engage hard, I'm going to give it a couple like one, two, three pops like that and then just kill it. It gets that little bit of chase going where it really makes those fish commit hard. So that's kind of what I'm doing with this. Both jerk baits I got on the same rod. This is actually a 7.4 Elliott rig and jig rod, um, which is kind of a, a longer rod. Let me make a really long cast and it's softer, which I like for fighting fish on treble hook baits. 10 pound braid, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, and just pitching at shallow marks. I'm actually shocked we haven't caught a small yet. That fish was so high in the water. <laughs> Look at him. Oh goodness, man. There's a few of them there. They were kind of moving slower though, but I was really close to him. And then that one just, he just had to do it. He couldn't help himself. Look at that. Well, we are having some fun. That is for sure. This is spot, spot number one. I kind of want to get a spot locked real quick here. Stay on those fish. It's just kind of a big flat with a lot of different structure but the main key is having bait up there these fish aren't like up here just going absolutely ballistic on it but post turnover if you can get around life you're going to be around fish that's kind of you're going to see a lot of these void areas in the lake where there's just not going to be a lot of life and you might see it switch like you might go out on a tuesday catch a bunch of fish in 30 feet of water on the bottom on rocks come back out on friday and catch fish in uh, eight feet of water in the weeds and in the sand and in some shallow rock it can totally switch just right on its head like that all right onward 
came out and fished a spot that was not connected to shoreline assuming it wouldn't be that good and it was confirmed to not be that good there just wasn't bait here unless you got like a really big flat out in the middle of the lake like a big shallow hump that can hold kind of that whole bait fish ecosystem um, generally they're not as good so big shoreline points and flats that is what we're off to Oh, come on. Got him right there. Wow, dude, did he come flying? Look at this crazy. Look at these guys. <laughs> it's not even that big a one, but dude, but his attitude off the charts. They'll eat all that big stuff, even these 16, 17 inches. A lot of times in the fall, everybody talks about the fall feed bag that goes on, and actually, the fish actually feed less in the fall. They're a cold water species, right? So their metabolism's all based on the water temperature. But one thing you notice is that all of the f bait fish are naturally, well, he wants to go home, but he's not going to. We gotta let him go. All the bait fish is bigger this time of year, so they naturally eat bigger stuff. At least that's my, incredibly scientific interpretation of the the quote-unquote fall feed bag all right back on land that was a fun couple hours of fishing anytime i can get up real shallow skinny water and catch fish in three to ten feet of water on jerk baits that is about as much fun as walleye fishing gets. I'm actually shocked I didn't catch a smallmouth. Obviously, they must just be mostly out in deeper water, but it's amazing post turnover how shallow some walleyes will come. So I appreciate you guys watching this one. Hopefully, you guys are having a good fall. We still have abnormally warm fall fishing conditions, but um, eventually it's obviously going to get real cold. We had water temps that were like 54 to 57 today, which is pretty warm for... I'd say late October um, in this neck of the woods. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one. Didn't catch a ton, caught them pretty solid. Only fished two spot, three spots, I guess. And uh, there was certainly some fish there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one. Hopefully you guys are having a good fall in the water. We'll see you guys on the next one.